This week's Honey Dew is talking all about how to deal with invasive species, and I've got uh, VJ Pandian with us from the Agriculture Extension uh, Agent Office uh, here in Brown County. And VJ, tell us a little bit about what exactly are invasive species. Well, uh, Doug, uh, invasive species are not uh, native to our area, actually. Okay. They have been accidentally or intentionally introduced, either for a landscape plan or for agriculture use. But what happened over time, they escaped from their habitat, original habitat, and became very aggressive. For instance, uh -huh. this grass is called Phragmitis. We might have all seen, whether you drive through a highway, or if you have a property along the shoreline area, or in the ditches, yep. they go really dense. And it, are they really tall ones they too? They are like the tall ones, 8 to 15 feet tall. Mm -hmm. By this time, you would see this kind of gray color. Uh, feather like this actually mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very aggressive species it is not native here and it was introduced actually around 19th century actually it's originally from Eurasia and uh, you know now it's gone out of control actually okay. and many agents are fighting against it how to get rid of this because it displaces some of the native vegetations like including some of like wild rice or wild orchids and even actually other native uh, wildlife habitat, it displaces very easily. It does. I, you know, I didn't know that. I thought that was a natural thing that just hung out around, <laughs> the, uh, right around the bay. I could see it right yeah. there. Now, this is one that, that I'm real familiar with. I have seen this in a lot of places. You call it garlic mustard? Garlic mustard, exactly. You're right. You know, whenever you take a walk, actually, in the woodland areas, actually, mm -hmm. you would see this uh, plant called garlic mustard. If you crush the leaf and if you smell it, it has a garlic odor to it, and Actually, that's it really how it does. has. <laughs> it really does. Now, what's interesting is you say that, you know, I, I thought this is kind of weird that we're talking about, you know, getting rid of plants when the growing season's almost done, but these stay green, don't they? Yes, you are right, actually, Doug. It, uh, this is one of the very few species that stays green throughout the winter, actually. And uh, this is the best time of the year to control the species, actually. So it's an easy way to identify it, and you can attack it. Uh, what's a good way to get rid of them? Well, if you do have a very small pockets, okay, in your backyard, mm -hmm. hand pulling is the best way to do it. Okay. Okay. But if you have a sizable patch, spray it with the Roundup, with a 2x concentration onto it. Okay. Make sure when you're spraying, the air temperature is above 30, okay? Okay. So that the plant can able to absorb the herbicide molecules. Sure, sure. Okay, well, it's just some great ideas to really uh, help get rid of these, uh, these species that we don't want around, right? Yes, exactly. Right, or if it's green, it's probably mustard at this time of year. Stay with us. The Wisconsin has more to come. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Doug.